Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe to Intel Maniac and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. You can always support my work with your likes, comments and shares. And you can join me on Facebook and Instagram at Dental Maniac. For images and transcripts, please visit my Patreon page, the link for which is given here above. The word malocclusion refers to any abnormal or incorrect relation among teeth of the upper and lower jaws. To understand what a malocclusion is, we must first look into the normal occlusion. A normal or ideal occlusion is a concept constructed by the orthodontic profession. More than 100 years ago, Edward Engel introduced the first clear and simple definition of normal occlusion that states the upper first molars are the key to occlusion and the upper and lower molars should be related so that the mesobuccal cusp of the upper first molar occludes in the buccal groove of the lower first molar. If the teeth are arranged on a smoothly curving line of occlusion and this molar relationship exists, a normal occlusion would result. By smooth curving line of occlusion, it simply means having all teeth well aligned and in proper position so that the line of occlusion that runs from the occlusal surfaces of posterior teeth and the incisal edges of anterior teeth is a smoothly curved line. Angle's classification is based on the relative position of the maxillary first molar. Hence, the classification is established on the relationship of this tooth to the other teeth in the mandibular jaw when closing the teeth. If the first molars were missing, the canine relationship is used instead. In a normal class 1 canine relationship, the upper canine's mesial incline lands on the distal incline of the lower canine. Similarly, the distal incline of the upper canine collides with the lower first premolar's mesial incline. To make life easier, let's just say that the maxillary canine cusp tip lies in the occlusal embrasure of the mandibular canine and first premolar. Let's look into the angle's three classes of malocclusion. In angle class 1, which is the most common type and accounts for about 70% of the malocclusions, the molar and canine relationship resembles what we have already seen in normal occlusion except for the misaligned or malplaced anterior teeth, resulting in either crowding or spacing of the teeth. The patient in class 1 malocclusion will have an almost straight facial profile. Engel's class 2 malocclusion is a post-normal occlusion, also known as a distal occlusion, as there is a distal relationship of the mandibular first molar compared to the maxillary molar. To be precise, it is defined when the mandibular teeth are distal to the maxillary teeth. The mesiobuccal cusp of the maxillary first molar lies anterior to the buccal groove of the mandibular first molar. This anterior position of the maxillary first molar should be at least half a cusp. The patient will have a convex facial profile. Engel class 2 is subdivided into class 2 division 1 and class 2 division 2 malocclusions. In class 2 division 1, the maxillary incisors are proclined and this accounts for 90% of class 2 malocclusions. In an angle class 2 division 1 malocclusion, if the overjet is over 6 mm, it is counted as great and anything above 9 is considered extreme. The maxillary canine cusp tip will also lie anterior, that is, in between the mandibular canine and lateral incisor. The remaining 10% of angles class 2 are division 2, which involves retroclined maxillary incisors. In angle class 3 malocclusion, known as pre-normal or mesio-occlusion, is a malocclusion in which the mesiobuccal cusp of the upper first molar is posterior to the mandibular first molar's mesiobuccal groove. Or let's just say the mesiobuccal cusp of the maxillary first molar lies in the occlusal embrasure of the lower first and second molar. In cases of angles class 3 malocclusion, the overjet is often reversed which is less than 0 mm, implying an anterior crossbite. The patient will have a concave facial profile. I hope this video helps. If you think this video was really helpful, please do like, subscribe, share and comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.